Because you insist on me as your victim. Why choose me to torment? Be gone, foul spirit. Tormented? By what? Forgive me, but I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. Know some personally. A witcher? But no. Nor can you help me. We'll see. Just tell me what the problem is. A foulness. A demon or wraith haunts me. Grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this. But no, not what. Each day it appears. Tarries. Then leaves. It's here now. There. Beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoof beats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me. Stops, stares, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil condensed. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing, still my breath and heart. What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom? Jumper tub? Dancing do that? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly. But not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of grey top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Greytop produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see the evil. Better that than to know it is there, but not know where. Need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Orans or Novigrad crowns. Florins will work too. I've none of any coin. I've nothing, in fact. Just potatoes in the cellar. A good crop this year. Tend to this quickly, completely, and several sacks will be yours. Agreed. If that's the case, no pay required. Need those potatoes more than I do. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. I cannot shut my eyes. For fear the night... Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Hmm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings.
Tom and Grey Top. Strong hallucinogen. Thought extinct. Don't often get to see that. Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. Shutters closed tight. Need to check the other side, see if the trail continues. Trail of blood starts at the pillow, ends here. Medallion's still vibrating. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Witcher. Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs, to appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We've each our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of animals. Most likely some kind of wraiths tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak? Spend lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites. Of course, there are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The Grey Top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Great Top would affect a mutated body. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. All right. High time we tried this. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. 
Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kinda hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound... Uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? Far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Hey, know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kinda strange. How you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants of small animals. Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. Or the worldly. We gotta follow them. Dead moths often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? All right. Now I know what we're up against. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, doofus. It's right over there. <laughs> it's getting away! Come on, witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Hey! Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could, uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, toward where I'm standing? Yeah, it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, by the long face. Ah!
Let's not lose sight of that Umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <sighs> sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight. First I've heard. Don't recall that ever happening. Of course you don't. <gasps> Melted into thin air! Marcello Clerici, knight, died last year, was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all, helps me focus. Geralt! It's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing! Each day I come and beg her for clemency. Beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes! The monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I died, the power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Seems so. Same way I saw you. You and the Hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad, nothing could cheer her. 
The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off, said she didn't want to know me. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Hmm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I, I flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker, and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. Pinastri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, a peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me lose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Oh, the regret. I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. I'm desperate. H help me. Noble Mare, forgive me my sin! Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. Cause that's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel... it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. <laughs> All right then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost-free from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped dunk cellar. I had come to belief. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. Ought to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure? 
Mostly Roach is doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path? Right to the nearest notice board? Rustle up another contract? Exactly. Oh, effects of the bruise waning. I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. <laughs> <laughs>